Electric vehicles are known for their lightning-fast acceleration, but things are about to get even crazier with Elon Musk's new development. First, Elon teased Insane New Motor, which will propel the highest-spec Tesla, the Model S Plaid, nearly a second faster than the mighty Bugatti Chiron. Are you excited to know about this Insane New Motor? Keep watching to find out what Elon Musk has done to his engine. So without further ado, let's begin. Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed details about a new electric motor with impressive performance stats on Twitter. The electric vehicle manufacturer refers to it as the Model 3 motor and it'll be used in their upcoming Model 3 all-electric vehicle. With a peak torque of 1,500 Nm, Elon Musk's big gun can easily spin a 1,000kg car at 125 km per hour. More importantly, for acceleration enthusiasts, the 0 to 100 km per hour time is 2.7 seconds. According to Elon, that's faster than a Formula 1 car. The electric motor is considered one of man's most important inventions. It is highly commendable that we have been forward-thinking in the way our inventions are not only designed to meet our immediate needs. The stator and rotor are the first important components to consider. The rotor is nothing more than a series of short-circuited conducting bars connected by end rings. The stator now has a three-phase AC power supply. The magnetic field is created by the three-phase alternating current in the coils. As a result, the Tesla motors produce a four-pole magnetic field. The magnetic field induces a current which converts the rotor bars into an induction motor. The rotor speed, also known as RMF speed, is always slower than the stator speed. Despite the lack of brushes and a permanent magnet, an induction motor is quite powerful. Induction motors are unique in that their rotational speed is determined by the frequency of the alternating current power source. This implies that the power supply frequency could change the wheel's rotational speed. Tesla's speed control is so simple and dependable. Tesla motors can spin at speeds ranging from 0 to 18,000 revolutions per minute, or RPM. The induction motor is powered by the battery pack. Because the source generates DC power, it must be converted to AC power before reaching the motor. The inverter comes into play here. The inversion converts DC to AC and modifies the frequency of the AC power, allowing the motor speed to be controlled by varying the amplitude of the AC motor. The inverter can even change the output power of the motor. It is also the brain of the electric vehicle. The battery packs are massive collections of ordinary lithium-ion battery cells comparable to those found in everyday life, which most people are surprised to find. These cells are linked in series in parallel to provide the electricity needed to power the electric vehicle. Glycol coolant is pumped between the cells via metallic inner tubes, which is one of the concepts that distinguish Tesla from other electric car manufacturers. Instead of a few large cells, several small ones provide critical cooling. As a result, thermal hotspots equal temperature distribution across cells and increased battery pack life are eliminated. In addition, these cells are organized into detachable modules, totaling approximately 7,000 cells in 16 modules. Moreover, a carbon fiber cover connects all the rotors, allowing up to 20,000 RPM rotational rates, which is nearly 25% faster than before. In addition, these claims that this copper wire in the motor must be coiled at extremely high tension due to the different coefficients of thermal expansion of carbon and copper resulting in an efficient electromagnetic field. How does it work? The Model S Plaid completes the quarter mile in 9.25 seconds at 152.6 miles per hour. The run from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes just 1.98 seconds after the brutally harsh launch. The Plaid travels so quickly that it's difficult to keep track of what's going on. In your hands, the yoke feels light. As a quarter-mile pavement vanishes beneath you, your neck muscles strain as your helmeted head digs into the headrest, and your surroundings blur into mere shapes and colors. This is a significant accomplishment, though the car cannot reach and sustain 200 miles per hour at the time because the drivetrain would be damaged. Why is Tesla doing this? According to Elon Musk, the biggest challenge with an electric car is carrying a lot of batteries, but no one wants a big, heavy vehicle. This makes developing a fast electric sports car extremely difficult. But how would he go about it? A new engine. Tesla has been working on reducing motor size for some time, but as it turns out, one of the main reasons engines are so large is to allow cool air to circulate around all that metal. So Tesla began to consider creating a motor with no moving parts and nothing to cool, just a solid piece of metal. It may appear impossible, but they have succeeded. They have succeeded. The new motor design employs magnets rather than copper coils, allowing for faster acceleration and better handling through crazy torque curves. Elon is also excited about a few other improvements, such as improved cold weather performance and efficiency. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of these bad boys. How powerful will it be? 
The new motor will give Tesla vehicles insane torque curves, and even more powerful versions will be released. We can hardly wait to get our hands on one of these. What about the batteries? With these kinds of advancements in vehicle battery technology, Tesla has decided to switch to lithium iron phosphate batteries. The move could be part of Tesla's strategy to increase profit margins on its fully electric vehicles without raising prices. Tesla was previously chastised for its unusual car pricing at its Shanghai facility. While the new technology has been hailed as a significant step forward in lowering the cost of entry for environmentally friendly automobiles, Tesla recently announced that it's putting plans to produce a more affordable hatchback, dubbed the Model 2, on hold for the time being. To reduce costs and improve efficiency, 4 to 6 AD batteries can still be installed in current Model 3 sedans, Model S sedans, Model Y SUVs, and Model X SUVs. As a result, electric vehicles are reshaping the hypercar in the racing performance landscapes. These new hypercars have pushed engineering boundaries to the point where internal combustion engines have run out of steam. Consider the Hennessy Phenom F5 and the Bugatti Chiron, which have both achieved the highest speeds without using electric propulsion. Combustion engines took approximately 150 years to achieve these performance levels in recent years. In terms of power, hybrid vehicles such as the Lotus Evia easily outperformed Venom and Chiron. The first-generation Tesla Roadster crucially paved the way for it to happen. And once again, Tesla must take the next big step forward and compete with its new rivals. The Tesla Roadster's release date has been updated. Franz von Halshausen, Tesla's chief designer, provided a rare update on the Tesla Roadster, which has been repeatedly delayed. Nonetheless, Tesla is working quickly on the electric hypercar, which will be an exciting flying machine. According to the designer, Tesla intends to sell a SpaceX package with cold air thrusters. Elon Musk said the kit could reduce the time from 0 to 60 miles per hour to 1.1 seconds. Isn't that incredible? That'll be the fastest time ever recorded, and it's a record that very few will be able to break in a short period, if at all. We hadn't heard anything about the new Tesla Roadster for over a year and assumed it had been delayed again. The manufacturer has had a difficult year due to chip scarcity, and the Cybertruck, undoubtedly a priority, has also been delayed. When asked about the Roadster in September 2021, Musk stated that it had been postponed until 2023. Furthermore, the CEO stated that the arrival depends on how much drama Tesla encounters in 2022. So far, there hasn't been much drama. What comes next from Tesla? Tesla has long stated that its next vehicle, which will be smaller than the Model S and cost roughly half as much, will go into production in 2017. Musk also revealed some additional details about Tesla's upcoming product at the company's annual shareholder meeting. It'll have a unique motor and will not resemble any other vehicle on the road. However, the most exciting development is that we have finally figured out how to power an electric car. Tesla's upcoming Model 3 will change all of that. This next generation vehicle is roughly half the length of a current Model S and will cost roughly half as much, around $35,000. What do you think of the new insane motor that stunned the entire industry? Let's know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more uploads like this.